Hi guys, Rob from Icebox Auto here. Just going to show you today's install, which is on a BMW 5 Series, the GT version. Um, this is that whopping 12.3 version today, which the customer wanted to go for. We fitted the rear camera. Uh, I'm not going to show you that today because obviously the engineer is just finishing off at the back end of the car, coming to the end of a nice long day. Uh, so, as you can see, this is the whopping sized one. So, basically, you can see this shows MPH down there now. A lot of cheaper alternatives was on the market will only go give you KPH because the factory only tend to cater for mass market. Those being a little island on an MPH tend to um we come last on the designs, but as you can see miles per hour on this one. You can go full screen on this if you want, so you can get rid of this part here, you can go full screen, so you can have the original I drive menu right across. Uh, but it does look quite big to be honest with you, and what you just gotta be, be mindful for is the resolution of these ones that are only designed for the smaller screen so as you do expand it um, it may look a little bit sort of out of proportion sort of thing but it's up to you anyway so as you can see um system works in through the aux of the car so obviously that's where all your sound transmits through uh, simply if i want to go over to the android side a uh, command panel works and everything as you would normally expect with your iDrive you can go over to the android side simply by holding down the menu button which is next to the command panel down below or you can press the touch screen if you're just lazy uh, and it takes you over to this here which is the latest Android um, I think it's Android 12 now guys I think or Android 13 I'll check anyway in the description um, so basically yeah latest system latest Snapdragon processor in there uh, 8 cores you can see it's very really swift and responsive as you expect you pretty much get that with a, pretty much a top end Apple product that to be honest with you but as I say we tend not to sell any 4 core systems because they do carry the lag so as you can see, nice and responsive and swift on the actions there at my finger. Um, okay, so navigation here, so you can put um, any map of choice on there. So obviously, if you've got Google Maps on there, so you can press that one. Let's let just go back on there, sorry. I don't really like selling with that map there, because obviously it's... Um, so we can just change things around, like sort of camera settings here. You can change the navy settings down below here. Let's have a little look, one second. I'll do that in a moment anyway guys, just to show you a few little back end settings on here. You can change your music app there if you wanted to put something onto the home page, select your video apps on there. So obviously if you want to add an extra function on there such as um, CarPlay, I'll show you all the apps in the background, one second. So your applications are, one sec, I'm going too quick at the screen, so one second. Oh, sorry, this sort of guy, this dude keeps on hiding there. Anyway, so you've got your applications there, then, anyway. This is all your back end settings. As you can see, it's got Google Maps here, uh, Play Store, uh, Dab Radio apps. This here is your car playing and the Android Auto one. We haven't got it connected today, but I'm sure you're aware of that. We've also installed a DVR camera today, which is the front facing one. They are 49 You link up with our, any of our systems, which are Android, and you pretty much get a, a, an app there. So, as you can see, we've got the shutters down today. Uh, only reason being so it gives it a nice um, proportionate sort of light in the car uh, but as I say we will um, you can do all your playbacks there and stuff like that um, also we'll put a rear camera on the car so say I'm not going to run and show that because I don't want to run the engineer over so okay you can do this here and change like the back end colours uh, which is a nice day it's got built in bluetooth here and also music pair, uh, music stream and so you can stream your music from me but I'll be sure for it is a little bit of a thing of the past now because everyone's going down the route of putting Spotify and YouTube music onto the systems. Um, dashboard here which shows you the revs. So if I put my foot down, you can see it going up and down there. That, that works with that too. Uh, let's go back over to there. Um, here's your video. I'll just show you what the HD videos look like on here. There should be a demo one on here. Let's see if it pops on. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. There is one hidden in the background, so there you go. So if I put that on there, let's have a little look. Works with the steering wheel controls. Let's just show you. So I'll just lower that down on the steering wheel. So that's your HD video side of things too. You can put your movies on a pen stick and, and also you can play your music through that too. Um, also, okay, so if you want to add, say, an app to there and customise your home page, you can just select it there and it comes on the home page. You can move them around. And second, uh, move it around. That's it. 
Let's move that to there if you want to. So you can do that too, so you can customise that too if you wish. Um, go into the back end settings, Android. Yeah, just as so, so a little, <clears throat> yeah, a few little apps which are on there. Also, this is the the old systems come with the um, uh, a sound processor, DSP sound processor in there, so you can fine tune your output on the speakers. Uh, there's your mobile, and you can add 3G, 4G SIM cards to it if you wish. They do come with a little SIM card holder down the back here that you can put a SIM card into um, and you can take the uh, use it as a hotspot settings um, just as you would normally expect with Android you got all these back end settings here um, so obviously control stuff like that okay so there's not much I can, else I can show you today guys without me logging on to the, the CarPlay app and stuff like that so I'll bring it to an end today so if you've got any questions give us a shout we'll put all our card details down in the description down below and I'll link to the product um, and thanks for a nice day now bye bye